I always start the walk with Hank, same way every time, stopping at all the boundaries, the front door like this, and this is the really, the most exciting boundary for him because it's where we're about to go out on the street. He's sitting and waiting. I say, okay, see how I stepped out, I step back, and since I'm by myself, I'm gonna do a little left circle here close a gate and this is the way I always start this walk because we're gonna see a lot of distractions out here on the street sit I have him sit at the curb I do a little walk around sit stay because he has to calm down and be focused and be non-reactive if he pops up I say no and with my body I step into him like this and I gently but still firmly put him there sit and I'm going to make sure that we complete this little sit stay because, you know, it's hard for him to focus and do this. Therefore, it's really good for him to do this. Okay. And then we're going to walk him across the street and start the walk over here. Calmly walk in the street. There's never any pulling, never any leash tension over here. I'm going to have him sit and then release him to be free. Go. And we already have a dog coming out so why don't you stand there on the sidewalk there so you can catch me from behind me and uh, just let him her kind of just run around come so I'm calling Hank away from this dog that just showed up out of nowhere he doesn't know this dog uh, of course he practices every day during his stay with me with dogs out here on the street come let's practice calling him away good boy and he's, uh, he was a little bit reactive at first, but now because we're starting the walk every day like this and all throughout the day, he's sitting at boundaries and sitting in front of his crate and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he's just learned to be a lot calmer. Uh, the walk is always on a loose leash. So I'm never, never choking up. I'm never restraining him. I'm not popping, jerking, no correcting. I'm just practicing calm, just calm walking, etiquette, loose leash. If I want to draw him away from something, come. I'm going to call him away. Good. We even have a dog here. She's a little bit leash aggressive, aggressive with other dogs. She's, she's new, fairly new. Come. And I'm calling Hank away from her. Good boy. So that's how we're, we've been doing it here. And even if the dog's barking, Hank is pretty non-reactive. We're gonna practice with another dog now. Okay. Oh, there's a dog just popping out in front of us. Hank's interested, see? He's interested in this dog. Come! I'm gonna call him away. Good. But notice that the leash was never tight. Hank wasn't pulling me. Go over there. Come! Good. So even though he's maybe a little bit uh, not super enthusiastic about coming to me, you saw all I did was just tap and back away. Like it's just ever so slightly tapping and using my target hand. Good boy. That time I had nothing in my hand, but I called him even though he, he's only stayed with us for a short period of time. I've just practiced on this thing, this one thing, since we only had him for a few days. Um, he already wants to come to this target because something good happens when he comes here. So even in an emergency, I can just pretend like I have food even when I don't, it still works. Um, way calmer when he encounters another dog in the street or a distraction and plenty of time. Sometimes he'll just turn back away. Good, because he'd much rather come back to you, get paid for seeing the dog, spotting the dog than uh, pulling or barking or whatever he might do.